Hi there, I'm Janelle Lawrence, the Urban Teacher, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanted to speak about what my sixth graders did in social studies in the past weeks. All right, so if you haven't watched any of my other videos or any other videos in this series, I try to go over what my students are currently doing in their social studies class for the week prior. So far, I've been doing what 6th and 7th grade students have been doing because I officially teach 7th grade, but I push into 6th, so I know what's going on in the classes. This week, I decided to separate it. What 6th grade is doing versus, and then I'll do another video on what 7th grade is doing. For those who are tuning in, my 6th graders this year, or this unit, is doing Geography of the Eastern Hemisphere. And they're actually doing a project-based learning they're actually doing a PBL project on um, geography and development, or development and geography, however you want to put it. So it's basically how geography affects development, and then maybe even how development affects geography. So that's what their project is going to be about, but it is on comics. So if you haven't watched my previous videos and you don't know what PBL is, it stands for project-based learning. And in PBL, it's different than having like a post-assessment project or not a post-assessment a post-unit project where you do all the learning beforehand and then you do a project afterwards P pbl is different pbl is where the project is practically the curriculum so since my students are making comics on geography what they have to do is they have to learn how to make a comic. So what I spend most of my time doing is teaching how to make comics and then bringing in the social studies content. If that is confusing to you, please watch one of my previous videos. I have it linked. I'll have it linked. It speaks about PBL. Actually, I have a whole series speaking about PBL. And then I also will link my, um, my blog so that you can see more on PBL because sometimes reading about it is easier than just listening to me doing the video. All right, so that's what I want to say. So my sixth graders, they're doing their comics on geography and development. Um, as a social studies department, we decided that everyone will do the PBL projects because, and the same ones. So even though comic book might not be the most efficient or effective for the unit that um eighth grade is doing we decided for the uniformity and that as teacher leader or department leader it was easier for all the department i mean all the grades to do the same thing so like when they come to visit me and i come to visit them they can have um models of what to do in the classroom it just made it easy so as i said that's what sixth grade is doing seventh grade pbl project is on native americans and european interaction so how did so everything from the age of discovery with the initial meet in to early settlement. So that kind of stuff, that kind of interaction between Native Americans and Europeans. And then eighth grade, they're doing reconstruction and the effects of African Americans. So that is what the project is. So challenges this week was how to Teach, continue with the project base, teaching students how to make comics or getting them ready to make comics on geography or social studies and then still teach the content. So this week I decided to pull out the standard where students had to compare and contrast different texts. So that would be um, the standard, the social studies standard or the reading standard seven for sixth grade, which is compare and contrast how different formats, including prints and digital media contribute to the understanding of a subject. And as I said, we're doing this across board. So seventh grade um, standard is, is the same R7, but it's a little bit different. And then with um, eighth grade, it, it talks about evaluating. So R7 covers comparing and contrasting different texts. Um, in previous years, it was only like, I was only doing um, historical documents compared to like a video. But now I feel like with this, it allows me to actually teach students how to um, compare and contrast different texts properly and go a little bit more, a little bit deeper. So to get started, I presented students with um, nonfiction. Oh, some of them might like fiction, but 
historical fiction, but narratives from different parts of the world. So this first document that the students read was Exploring Na Nairobi, Kenya, with geography shaped development. So students read about Nairobi and they saw that geography does play a big part in the development of this city. So they read this. Um, the reading strategies we use in our classroom is CSR. If you want some information about CSR and how it helps to improve students reading, please um, check the description. I'll have a link to some CSR resources. So they read this. Um, and then they then to bring in the comic book part and the contra compare and contrast thing, they read this um, comic about a marketplace in Nairobi. So it was difficult at first to figure out how to do this project, especially when I started looking for comics that had to do with social studies, or at least this topic in social studies. I could not find any. So I worked with an artist to help me create different comics that match all the readings that my students would be doing. So the first reading was Niobe, so I and like geography and development in general, and then the second, then I com I combined it and I had them look at this comic book. Obviously, this reading is more dense, so that's something that they saw. This is filled with vibrant colors, so at least they get to see how they get to learn about geography just by looking at the image because geography is not just the topography, it's the people, it's the colors, it's it's the region, it's all of this. So they got to compare the differences. And then they even got a little bit to evaluate like why would teachers present this before they present that? And then how in their comic books can they bring out the true geography in something so small with little words? So that's what my students did. Um, if you want documents specifically for geography and development, I can I will link my um tpt project product is actually this pack comes with 12 different documents so i had the i decided to do like this first document is on nairobi and then like if you are a teacher that wants to give homework and additional reading the second document is also on kenya then the third document is on the Demo Demogra democratic republic of congo the fourth the fourth will also be about that so it's like you read a little bit about it in class and then you got, get to go home and read more on this topic so that's just so and it's not like it's just a continuation it's like a boring reading like this first reading is called exploring kenya is like a travel guide and then the second one is about a farmer living near nairobi i think it was that and he was talking about like his like just farming and how geography is affecting his business so it's a little bit of that um these comments are not ready to go up on my tpt store as yet so what i am doing i have decided to extend the time if you sign up for my mailing list i'll link it below you can get a free copy of six comics so there'll be 12 in all so i have the first six available free and um, you have if you sign up, you can get a downloadable in link. And then after December, I will put them in my TPT store where you can buy the entire set. So that's what my students are doing. Um, again, the reading strategy that they used to do this was CSR. They're actually just reading and identifying clones and um, and. We're not doing the full CSRs yet. We're doing it piece by piece. But right now it's all about clunks or turning clunks into clicks and reading the text and then they get to analyze it. One thing that some of the other teachers in my department are saying is that it seems a bit much that they have to teach, teach about making comic books, teach the content. Students have to read and then still um, analyze and compare it to to other comic books. Like they still have to read the text and then do the comparison to comic books. So another thing I did this year is I decided to make all these documents 
like 500 words or less so students are able to get through get through the reading they get to do their reading um practice they get to do their csr practice and they do get to get to the end where they can have opportunities to work with the comics um I did this because I used to rely heavily on Newsletter to get my documents, but sometimes the documents were too long. And like, even if I changed the Lexi level, it did not work. Talking about Lexi level, these documents, they're available in three Lexi levels. So ideally, you can use it with anyone reading from a second grade, has a second grade reading level all the way to six. Because it comes from, I have the lowest Lexi level, I think is a four... Four ninety five. Let me see. Is a four twenty five, and then it goes up to a ten thirty next like level. So that should help. I also have um. They're available in Spanish and I think French. Let me see. They're available in Spanish right now, as well as English, obviously. And I think I'm gonna add French because I'm seeing some more French students in my school. So I rather just have it on hand if I need it. Anyways, thank you for watching my video. It is very short um, and I hope it's, it helps you and especially if you're thinking about doing project-based learning and you want more support on that, I would say watch my videos, all my previous videos and read that blog, the blog that I'm going to be um, linking in my description. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to this channel, like and comment any questions you might have or anything you just want to tell me. Thank you again and have a great day. Bye!